Hello everyone, my name is Scientech 100 and welcome to the Okami Squadron channel. Today we're going to be talking about multi-panels with command panels. This allows you to open up multiple panels inside of the player's inventory and the actual chest UI. So you can have something in this space as well as the lower space and then the top space. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please leave a like. Consider subscribing for any of my future videos. Hope you're all having a great day and let's get on into it. So start, I'm going to make a new file. This one I'm just going to call top panel. Good enough. I'll change the name in this. So panel name, I'm just going to name it top panel. And the command I'm just going to do top P. Rest of this stuff really doesn't matter. But for this example, we now have the top panel set. So in this one, this will be the one that opens up kind of like any other GUI with command panels where it'll be in the chest spot. So you can customize this one to your liking. For this example, I'm just going to do very basic panels. I'm just showing you how to do it. So now all we're going to do is go up here below title or wherever else is closest, anywhere that's in line with the panel settings. And we're going to do commands on open just like that. And then we're going to do a command. So for this command, we're going to do open equals, and we're going to do bottom panel. And then for this, we are going to do bottom with a capital B, just like that. And then open equals oh, middle panel. <clears throat> Make sure you do a capital just like that. So now what this is going to do is it's going to open the panel name of bottom panel on the hot bar. That's where the bottom section is. Then the next command is going to open in the middle where the player's inventory is. And this one's just marked as middle. And since we opened up the top panel, the top panel will be open. Why we are using commands on open is basically when this panel is opened, it'll automatically open these as well, just so that they open at the same time. You can use these inside of normal commands on an item for when you're transferring to a different panel. But for this example, we're just going to use on open. So now we need to actually create these two panels. One thing to keep in mind is this top panel can be up to six rows. So I'll just put it at six for this example. And then for the next ones, the middle panel can be up to three and the bottom panel has to be one. So keep that in mind when doing it. If you try to use a different panel, it'll either freak out or be really, really weird looking. So make sure you do that properly. So now to make the other panels, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Bottom panel, middle panel, and we'll just edit the bottom real quick. So for the bottom, since this is the hot bar, we're going to do one row and we need to name it bottom panel, just like that. I'll just name it bottom panel. I don't think this title actually works with the lower spots, but that'll be fine. Don't need any commands, but what we want to add is do panel type just like that and no command. What this is going to do is it's going to make it so no players can do slash CP bottom panel because if they did that, it would either show up as the top panel or freak out, whatever will happen. But for this, you will want to do no command so that they cannot open this unless you open it from a different panel. But this one's set up. I'm going to copy everything and we're going to put it in the next one, which is the middle. And for this, I'm just going to do three rows. And we will call it middle panel. And again, I don't think this part matters, but I'm going to change it just for the sake. And again, make sure you have the no command so that they cannot open this one randomly. So for these, I'm just going to add a name for each, just like that. And now if we go in game and test this and do this command, it'll open up the panels in their respective spot. So back in game slash CPR. And now if we do slash top P, you'll see it opens. It has the top panel, which is six rows. And you can see it says top, has the name. Then it goes to the inventory, which has middle, and fills it up because we have it set to three rows and the lower one which is bottom and you can see it fills this which is one row as you can see this will happen down here uh, the reason for this is panel refreshes on so every time it refreshes it has to give the player the items in their inventory so it will flicker like that if you want to disable that either change your refresh delay to be really really high which you'll still see that or just turn off refresh or you can set it just so that panel does not refresh which would be the bottom panel 
and you can do it that way if you choose but that is how you set up multi panels now i'll show you how to do it when you just click an item and it opens up separate panels so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a second bottom panel and we're going to make it so in the first bottom panel when we click something it will open up the other one so i'm going to do commands open equals and we will do bottom panel two and we'll do it on the bottom just like that and now if we go copy and paste this panel and create it just like that get rid of the commands now once we're in game do slash cpr and now if we open it and then click the bottom one you'll see it changed i forgot to change the item so i'll go do that real quick and i can show you exactly what it's doing so as you can see this one is bottom if we click it it then changes to the other panel we have created. So that is the basics of multi-panels with command panels. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them. I'll get back to you when I can. I'll be leaving the command panels wiki and Discord in the description if you want to go into the Discord and ask any questions there. There are a few people to help you, including me, and we will get back to you whenever we can. If you guys would like any free examples or templates, you can visit our website and download any of them for free. If you guys found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, maybe subscribing for any of my future videos. Hopefully you all having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.